Today our topic is on, rapid sequence induction, or, rapid sequence intubation. We discuss in this video. Indications. Choice of drugs. Process of rapid sequence induction. Technique. So let's go to start our lecture. Rapid sequence induction. RSI also refer to as rapid sequence intubation, or as rapid sequence induction and intubation. Is a special process for endotracheal intubation that is used where the patient is at a high risk of pulmonary aspiration. Indications. Factors associated with a high risk of aspiration include abdominal pathology, delayed gastric emptying, incompetent lower esophageal sphincter, hydus hernia, gastroesophageal reflux disease, pregnancy, difficult airway. Metabolic disturbances, non-cooperative patient, respiratory and ventilatory compromise, impaired oxygenation. Extremely short safe apnea time, secretion, blood, vomits, and distorted anatomy. Choice of drugs For induction Rapid acting IV induction agent Ketamine, 2 mg per kg Atomidate, 0.4 mg per kg Fentanyl, 2 to 10 micrograms per kg Midazolam 0.3 mg per kg. Propofol, 2 mg per kg. For intubation, succamethonium, 1 to 2 mg per kilogram. Rocuronium, 0.6 to 1.2 mg per kilogram. Vecuronium, 0.15 to 0.25 mg per kilogram. Process of rapid sequence induction. Remembered our 9P. Plan. Preparation. Drugs, equipments. Protect the cervical spine. Positioning. Pre-oxygenation. Pre-treatment. Paralysis and induction. Placement with proof. Post intubation management. Technique of rapid sequence induction. Pre oxygenation. The patient is always pre oxygenated prior to induction. Avoidance of manual inflation of the lung by face piece to prevent inflation of stomach and thus increase risk of regurgitation. Pre-oxygenation is therefore required to prevent hypoxemia during apnea, until, tracheal intubation is achieved. Induction Application of cricoid pressure prior to intubation, it may collapse to esophagus and passively regurgitated gastric fluids cannot reach typopharynx. Induction is done by usually propofol or thiopental. No test done of thiopental is given. Intubation. Spare laryngoscope, blade, endotracheal tube, one half size smaller than usual must be prepared as advance as must a plan in case of unexpected difficult or impossible intubation. The tube may be in with a stylet. The patient is not artificially ventilated to avoid filling the stomach with gas and thereby increasing the, the risk of emesis. Once spontaneous effort have ceased or muscle response to nerve stimulation has disappeared. The patient is rapidly intubate. Cricoid pressure is maintained until the endotracheal tube is inflated, and the tube position is confirmed. Difficult intubation If the intubation proves difficult, cricoid pressure is maintained and the patient is gently ventilated with oxygen until another intubation attempt can be performed. If intubation is still unsuccessful,
spontaneously ventilation should be allowed to return and an awake intubation performed. After surgery, the patient should remain intubated, until airway reflexes have returned and unconsciousness has been required. Contraindications Increase intracranial pressure Increase arterial blood pressure Increase heart rate Contraindication to succinylcholine, thermal burn Thanks for watching. Anesthesia with Dr. T. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thanks.